We now come to the second oral question. Lord Hunt of King's Heath. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. I call the Minister, Lord Bethel. My Lords, on the basis of the IBD audit, NHS EI is working closely with frontline clinical experts, patient representative groups and leading charities, including Crohn's and Colitis UK, to develop evidence-based improvement tools to address possible variations in service. This work includes an important new inflammatory bowel, bowel disease right care scenario, which will set out what high quality joined up care looks like at every stage of the, of the patient journey. Lord Hunt of King. My Lord, I'm grateful to the Minister. He will know that over half a million people are living with inflammatory bowel disease, often with debilitating long-term symptoms and complications. My Lords, given the current huge variation in standards of care to which the noble Lord has referred to, will the government appoint a national clinical director for IBD solely to concentrate on spearheading a drive to implement the national IBD standards, which are backed by 17 healthcare professional and patient organisations? Well, my Lords, we are doing a huge amount in this area, as the Noble Lord rightly points out. And in particular, we're working with Crohn's uh, and Colitis UK on the scenario uh, uh, work that I mentioned earlier. Uh, that is on top of uh, working on diagnostic waiting times, formal personalised care, access to specialist treatment and formal and structured education. I will look into the possibility of having a formal leader uh, to oversee all of these different strands, but it's my impression that at present this is best done by the individual work streams uh, that I've mentioned. Lord Balfe. My Lords, could I ask the Minister what assessment HMG has made of how many treatments and admissions for inflammatory bowel disease have been impacted by COVID-19? Well, my Lords, uh, COVID-19 has hit all services in the NHS, but can I pay tribute to those who are involved in the IBD area who have moved extremely uh, fast in order to anticipate these problems? Uh, we have rapid guidelines, uh, gastrointestinal and liver conditions treated with drugs have been made available uh, over um, uh, telephone, email and text messages services. And uh, NICE issued new guidance in August 2020 to uh, give advice on for healthcare professionals for gastrointestinal and liver conditions. Ernest Greengross. My Lords, what plans does Her Majesty's Government have to introduce sanitary bins in public toilets for men? There is a terrible shortage of these and many men do need somewhere to put uh, pads uh, and so on when they have a disease. Well, my lords, I'm afraid the management of public uh, toilets is outside the reach of the department, but I will take that idea back to the department and write to the person responsible. Lord Thunberg. When I was a gastroenterologist, I knew that patients with inflammatory bowel disease did best when they were managed by a team of a gastroenterologist, surgeon and specialist nurse. But now too often patients are denied access to such teams. And I wonder in view of what the minister has been saying, whether this team approach will be part of the ways in which we might correct this deficiency. Yes, I would like to reassure the noble Lord that the scenario that I described earlier typically includes two consultants of gastroenterology, a clinical intermediate a fellow, a GP partner and a patient representative. It is exactly this kind of team approach that delivers the best um, patient outcomes, uh, as the Noble Lord quite rightly uh, outlines. Barnes Brunton. In 2012, NICE published the treatment pathway for Crohn's and colitis. It was a groundbreaking change to ensure consistent and comprehensive services, including the team approach referred to just now by Lord Turnberg, and outcomes for all patients with this autoimmune disease across England. NICE further updated this in 2019. So there has been a pathway for nine years. Why is it not being adhered to by NHS England? And what will the minister do to ensure that all Crohn's and colitis patients get the treatment that they are promised by NICE? 
Well, my lords, I'm not sure if it is correct that it isn't being adhered to uh, widely, but there is, of course, some variation in all parts of the NHS. That's why we're developing uh, a right care scenario for IBD with key stakeholders. This will create a very clear template uh, for uh, all patients and all those involved in the care of patients, uh, and it will, uh, I hope, help to uh, create more uh, uh, consistent standards right across the healthcare system. My lords, I suffer from ulcerative colitis and understand how disabling this condition can be. The support from our IBD specialist nurse is a lifeline in managing periodic flare-ups of the condition, yet the postcode lottery means that a third of IBD patients don't have access to a specialist nurse. This is just one of the many examples of uneven standards of care. I don't know why the Minister, and perhaps you could comment, can't simply now commit to endorsing IBD UK's 2019 IBD standards and ensure that services are commissioned to these standards across the country. We've waited an age, at least three years, for the scenario that he's talking about. Half a million patients are fed up waiting. Well, my lords, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for the testimony uh, of the noble Baroness, and she speaks very movingly about the challenge faced by those with IBD, uh, a challenge that we all sympathise with. We are, my lords, working extremely hard with both Colitis UK uh, uh, and, and with uh, IBD patient groups on this scenario. There has been disruption in the last year, but can I reassure the noble Baroness that we are working extremely hard to get the scenario out as soon as possible? Lord McCall of Dulwich. My Lords, would the Minister agree that even for very experienced clinicians, diagnosis and treatment of these conditions can be very difficult indeed, as my experience over the years has taught me? They may present in bizarre ways, for instance, with a disease of the skin, eyes or joints. And furthermore, a patient with ulcerative colitis can almost imperceptibly become dangerously ill, requiring drastic emergency surgery. Clinicians are always trying to do better, and they need encouragement and our thanks, particularly over this very difficult pandemic. My noble friend is entirely right that diagnosis is absolutely key to the accurate and prompt uh, treatment uh, of IBD and associated uh, conditions. Between, that's why we have put diagnosis at the heart of our research program. Uh, between 2015 and 2020, we funded 20 research projects, many of them on diagnosis, with over £17 million um, uh, committed. That includes a study into the overlap between IBD uh, uh, and into magnetic resonance enterology to image Crohn's disease patients, uh, uh, an approach that we think is extremely promising. Unless Marsham or Wilton. My Lords, does the Minister agree with me that some people are hesitant in going to their GP about problems with their bowels as they are embarrassed? Can there be a campaign across the country saying early diagnosis can be vital. Well, my lords, I do agree with the noble baroness. Uh, a lot of um, late diagnosis is caused by the kind of delicacy that the noble baroness refers to. Uh, and my noble friend talked about the challenge of diagnosis, which is made more complex by the fact that patients find a lot of these subjects extremely delicate. My lords, the, the approach taken in primary care to handling such delicate issues has improved dramatically over the years. We are working with uh, GPs and clinicians to make their, their bedside table manner um, more delicate and to be able to breach these kinds of delicate issues um, more sensitively. And that, I believe, is at the heart of the problem. Baroness Wheeler. Uh, my Lords, COVID-19 has widened the huge cracks in the quality of IBD care, uh, with patients facing even longer waits for elective care, surgery and investigations, and for a personalised care and support plan, which will support them in daily lives. Surveys have shown nearly one in five IBD patients have suffered a flare-up crisis during the pandemic because they were unable to obtain specialist advice. And we know many have had to continue shielding because Crohn's disease compromises the immune system and they have to wait for their two vaccines. Can the Minister say what recognition and support of their particular <coughs> support and care needs is being given at primary care and community level? Well, my Lord, I completely sympathise uh, with all those with IBD and associated uh, conditions. The uh, situation that the Noble Baroness described is exactly right, and it is extremely challenging. And I have particular 
uh, concern for those who have had to be shielding for a very long period of time, uh, although I do hope that many of them will not be uh, waiting uh, long for their second vaccine. My Lords, those with all conditions have had to uh, uh, endure some wait because of COVID, but the NHS is working incredibly hard on the catch-up. Uh, huge progress has already been made, and there is a massive focus, particularly on diagnosis, to ensure that we catch up on all those who are presenting with problems and need diagnosis. My Lords, the time allowed for this question has elapsed.